your hearts to God. I want to hear the voice of God. I want to be obsessed with hearing your voice. I want to know your thoughts toward me that are too numerous to count. I don't want to live my life on earth as some kind of earth being, some mere man. I want to walk with angels in Jesus' name. Turn with me, if you would, to Psalm 139, verse 16. He wrote a book before they were all written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. How precious are your thoughts to me. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I'm still with you. Before you are ever formed in your mother's womb, his thoughts toward you were too numerous to count. And he wrote a novel about your life. He doesn't write boring novels. Life is not just an ordinary mere muddle. Life is God walking with us in the supernatural. My magnificent obsession is this God who speaks and thinks about me continuously. I want to know the thoughts he's thinking about me. The prophetic is not play toys. I want to know the thoughts. The prophetic is God's thoughts to us. Thousands of Christians are having dreams from heaven, awakening their ears and they're saying, it's just a dream. Dreams become invitations to intercession. Dreams begin to call us to hunger and to yearn. They point us to destinies. He wants to bring a bunch of wounded people and call them in to glorious destiny in him. He's not playing games. He wants to awaken your ear because there is a journey to Golgotha for you. And if there is, there's deliverance for the world. We're not playing games. We're listening to the voice. God wants to give destiny dreams that will drive you out of your little Jacob mentality, homeless kid running away from his dysfunctional family, laying his head on a pillow, and suddenly everything's changed because heaven breaks out on him in a dream and says, this is none other than the gate of heaven and the house you of God. You just don't know what you set into motion when you listen to the dreams and you pray the prophecy. Are we going to die with our prayer journal entries or are we going to heed the word of the Lord? Maybe we should treat the word of the Lord like none other than the gate of heaven and the house of God. The prophetic is not play toys. The prophetic is God's thoughts to us. He's coming to you in the cool of the garden like he came to Adam and Adam hid from him because he was in shame, but God was looking for his appointment every morning. God is gonna unleash a dream explosion. God's gonna lose visions and dreams in the prophetic on a people in the last days. The prophetic is not play toys. The prophetic is God's thoughts to us.